All right, today we're taking a look at our 1992 Subaru Sambar van. This is the Sambar Tri Van, and it's the DS or Dias 2 trim level. As you can see there, that's the full name. Sambar Tri Dias 2. Um, and then here are the options. You can see Supercharger Full Time Four Wheel Drive. So this one is pretty maxed out as far as the options go. Um, these you could get in either an automatic ECVT or a manual transmission. This one is a second, the manual transmission, which honestly tends to be more reliable in the long run. Um, so that's pretty nice to have. So all the options, uh, full-time four-wheel drive or Subaru's all-wheel drive, which is pretty famous. Supercharged, 660cc, four-cylinder, five-speed manual. And then all the options that come with the Dias 2 trim level, which is like dual sunroofs, air conditioning, all that stuff, tachometer, um, all kinds of goodies. So you can see this interior is really, really clean. It's just as clean as the exterior. There's not many blemishes out here either. Also a great color. I love this light blue two-tone with the white. Looks good. Um, but yeah, seats are in great shape here. Not a lot of wear in the interior. You do have manual windows, um, but you got all the other upscale options. So you have five-speed manual with an extra low gear all the way down to the side, so like a climbing gear. AC, all those controls there. Go ahead and start that. Starts right up as it should. This one does have quite a few maintenance records down here as well. Pretty recent stuff done to it. And let's see. Yeah, in the back here you have two seats, so four seats total, and these seats will fold flat. So, I can try to demonstrate here. Pull this headrest out, then you fold the back of the seat down like so, and grab this little lever back here, and pulling that will allow you to lift this seat up and over fold it down like that, and then you have a totally flat storage surface. So same thing with the other seat. Actually, I'll turn this off, no need to leave it running. So that's pretty cool. And then here we also get a good view in this position of both of the sunroofs. So this one, uh, is the larger middle one, is a power sunroof. It'll slide all the way back, open all the way up front one you actually just grab this little lever here and pop it up like so. Pretty easy to work with there. The benefit of the smaller vans as opposed to the larger vans is they get doors on both sides. Um, so easier access to a lot of things that way. And in the back here not much to note. Um, this angle gets you a good view of the condition of the headliner. Everything looks good. So, and you also have your engine access back here. So if I push that in and then pull back, pull up and around. And there we go. There's your engine all the way in the back here. So you can see you've got four wires, four spark plugs, it's a 660cc four-cylinder, supercharged, pretty awesome little engines. And then you also have access under a panel up here uh, if you need to get to anything further into the engine bay. So that's pretty cool. Very interesting way to access the engines on these. And these Subaru engines tend to be pretty reliable. They hold up well. Tires look good. In good condition, and these are aftermarket rims that also look really good on this van. So yeah, this is a really great van. Um, 
great color, top trim level, you know, all the basic options that you want out of a K-Van, a little bit extra power with the supercharger, and all-wheel drive. Um, so this thing is a good all-around little van. But it'll have better get up and go with that supercharger, a slightly higher top speed, uh, a lot of good stuff like that. So this is one definitely worth checking out on the website. I doubt it'll stick around long. Um, these are getting more and more popular. So yeah, check it out on jdmcarandmotorcycle.com. There'll be more photos, pricing, all that. Yeah, thank you for watching.